What's up guys, it's your girl Anna and you probably already know this but today there has been a ton of activity on Twitter and Reddit about Shaggy being added to the MK11 DLC roster either for Combat Pack 1 or 2. For some reason, loads of people want him in the game and I cannot figure out for the life of me why that would be but it would definitely be very interesting to have a non-horror guest character as DLC for once. So I'm all for it. It all started with a petition that is now getting lots of traction and will soon be hitting their goal of 150,000 signatures. But for now, Ed Boon has addressed it quite a bit on Twitter, replying to people saying, let me know how that works for you, and hi, low, mid, grab, I will mix your shit up in fighting games. <laughs> And of course, the comments just went wild, and I'm seeing a lot of people making fun of YouTubers that report MK News, like me, saying that, oh, they're going to be making a YouTube video about it, and I was like, they better because they're the hype makers, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I hope that you will all keep supporting NRS YouTubers because we do it for you. But as for the probability of Shaggy actually making it into the DLC roster, I would give it a 50-50 chance because additionally to WB owning the rights to Shaggy, they did sort of tease Shaggy back in the last big Injustice 2 Ultimate Edition update where those that had the PC version found Shaggy's name in the files. And at that time, we all thought that Shaggy would be in Injustice 2, but maybe just maybe they were saving him for MK11. I just find it a little too big of a coincidence that Shaggy's name will be in that file and then all of a sudden he pops up again for Mortal Kombat 11. I want to hear your thoughts about it so leave me a comment down below and if you liked the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it and subscribe.